Happy, thank you. Well, we turn now to the health of our pets. If you've ever had a sick pet, chances are you've probably gone to your computer and typed a question into Google. Three and four pet owners do that, but veterinarians warn you could be missing the bigger picture on your animal's health. So we have Dr. Ladan Mohammed Zadeh, a veterinarian with Dove Lewis here today. Hi. And doctor, who did you bring with you? Um, well, this is a uh, Butterbean. Uh, Butterbean is a uh, Butter Persian bean. cat. He's yeah. beautiful. He's so friendly. <laughs> he belongs to one of our uh, reception manager staff. I think so that is the friendliest cat I've ever met. Oh yeah, he's very <laughs> calm, very calm. Well, let's talk first about why we shouldn't be diagnosing our pets online, because I think we've all been there we've searched you know we want a quick yeah. answer and we want to know what to do but that might not be the best solution right you know so the first thing I would say is that um, the internet uh, does not know your pet right mm -hmm. they're not familiar with your pets uh, past history they're not familiar with what medications your pet might be on and so sometimes a symptom uh, could be related to uh, an underlying issue that your pet already has and just by doing a Google search you wouldn't take that into account you gave an example of it might tell you to take ibuprofen or give ibuprofen Ibuprofen to your animal, which can be very harmful. Exactly. So if you might, if you read, uh, you know, a simple statement such as uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories might benefit your dog or cat. So there are um, FDA-approved anti-inflammatory pain drugs that you mm -hmm. can use in dogs and cats. But you might go to your cabinet and say Tylenol or ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. I want to give that to my pet, and that could potentially be fatal in certain circumstances. You say you get a lot of uh, your patients come in. And they kind of think they know what the diagnosis is right. based on the internet. Exactly right. So if uh, uh, they say that you know a dog plan. is sneezing and they look at that on the internet, and there are some nasal tumors that can cause <laughs> sneezing in dogs, right? So someone might come in thinking the worst when it actually is not that, or they think it's something benign when mm -hmm. it actually is something very very serious. Doctor, are there some websites you do recommend if I am going to search something before I can make an appointment with my vet? Where yeah. should I go? Yeah. So there, uh, you know, there's definitely sources and places that um, uh, might not have as good information. I think the first place that I might look might even be your general practitioner's website. So a lot of um, general veterinarians mm -hmm. do have really good websites. They're very engaged in social media and they might have articles and pet health tips. Um, DoveLewis.org mm -hmm. is also another place that you can go. Um, the American Veterinary Medical Association um, does list uh, WebMD pet health community as Which a place. Which that interested me because I, I, <laughs> we've heard like don't web MD it, but that one's actually a, a good one. Yeah, that's one that the that the AVMA has listed on their website. So you could go to the AVMA, the American Veterinary Medical Association and see what they have in terms of um, quick links and things like that to pet health tips. Great, well thank you so much. And it yeah. was Butterbean. Butterbean, Butterbean yes. is a little celebrity. <laughs> thank you both for being here Absolutely. today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Well coming up on Portland Today, we talk about the holidays.